with lots of questions answered against Boston College, the Devils walked back into Muni with a newfound purpose and another powerhouse offense from New Mexico State entering in. The game was built to be a showdown between sluggers Spencer Torkelson and Nick Gonzalez, but instead of combining for hits and homers, they combined for walks, seven to be exact, with Torque walking five times, tying an ASU record. I would walk him too, I wouldn't throw to him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, he's the best hitter in the nation and I understand what they were doing. I mean, but Trevor's right behind him and Trevor's pretty dang good too, so. Um, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> in fact, the game didn't really even take off until the eighth inning. With a 2-0 lead in favor of the Devils, New Mexico State clawed back, taking a 3-2 lead. The Devils responded immediately, with Alika Williams driving a ball into the outfield to plate two, along with another run to get ASU back to the lead. The Aggies tied it up again in the ninth, and the game headed into extra innings. That's where the Devils worked the bases loaded to bring Trevor Hover to the plate, where he would walk in the go-ahead run to give ASU the win. <laughs> A messy, crazy game for the Devils, but Skip was more proud than anything else. I'd much rather be going home a lot earlier, but it's good to see a little bit of adversity where you think you've got the game, you cough it up because of your own miscues, but still have the maturity to you know fight through that and get some big hits and win a baseball game, which is I think the goal. So um, you know I was proud of the way the guys battled back even after a couple miscues there late. The Devils now shift their attention to the weekend series against Nebraska. Reporting at Phoenix Municipal Stadium, Jack Lotteray. Cronkite Sports.